How you kids and cadets? Happy Tuesday. Hopefully you had a nice Monday. So a nice couple just traded this Troy built in. They left for the Toro Recycler with a quantum engine, no bag. I had it listed for 180. I gave them 30 for this Troy build. Haven't looked at it. The gentleman said um, he would pull it over and it would stall. I told him I, I thought it was a carburation issue. I told him about non-ethanol. He didn't know about non-ethanol. He's been using regular ethanol fuel. He also had a one-year-old two-cycle weed eater he wanted me to look at, and I declined. I don't want any weed eaters. So this thing looked complete 2016, so I thought I'd be safe at 30. I just um, looked at the oil. Now I'm, I'm more concerned than I was. There's hardly any oil in it. So I hope this thing's got compression. We're going to find out here in a second. So I've got my bench set up in the shade. It's starting to get hot in southwest Florida. I had looked at the, the filter when he was here. It does have the original Briggs filter, 593260, which doesn't look too bad. So let's see what it does on its own. I can't give you the Troy built number because I don't see the sticker for it, but I can give you the engine serial number 16, which means it's a 2016 1611141s 5461 So without juicing it or anything, I'm going to see what it does. It doesn't do anything. Kind of was looking at the plug. It looks like he tried to put a new plug in it. So we can look at that. It might be a Chinese plug. Okay, a little bit of juice. Let's see if it kicks off. Crossing my fingers. Okay, so we got, we got better luck than I had thought initially. What do we got? Something SPLP, I can't see a, a number. I'm, I'm kind of curious what this thing is. Let's take it off. It may be a brand I'm not familiar with. It's not the RC12YC that should be in here, I don't think. People always go for the spark plug first. I guess it's the easiest thing to buy. Sometimes it's the plug like 2% of the time. Okay, never heard of this. November Hilo, Sierra Papa, Lima Delta, Foxtrot 7 Tango. What in the hell is this thing? You guys know? See if they stamped it China anywhere. I don't see it stamped. Hadn't had it in there long. Okay, for shits and giggles, let's see if this thing sparks. Let me get a clip for the bail bar. I guess we know it sparks. It just um, kicked off. I just want to see what kind of spark this thing's generating. Oh, good spark. 
So we'll put this back in and use it. Heat guards missing on the muffler. This thing's seen some action. There's a little bit of bubbly rust over near the water port connector. Do Higgy. So we're going to do a carb clean on this real quick. I've got my tools ready on the lift table. And we're going to move this TB into position and go to work. What do you say? Blade shot on this. I, I looked at the blade. When he got it off the truck, blade is uh, rounded off on the end and it's flatter than a butter knife handle on the leading edge. So that's that's going in the scrap metal pile. So you remember the Toro, that's, that's on the lineup, the one with the crappy wheels and the um, rear wheel drive that's not budging. We got to mess with that. So I went to the dealer only auction. Somebody asked me about pricing and send pictures. Well, it was uneventful. Prices were extremely high. I wrote down maybe eight prices on different things. The high mileage crew cab Chevy 2007 had needed paint work. When I got there, there was a, a line of people waiting to test drive it, so that's a bad indication. Right away, the interest in it was extremely high. It went, it went for way too much money for a truck that needed paint work. All that doesn't bother me. It, it's a personal vehicle. I'm not trying to sell it. I don't give a crap about what it looks like. I just wanted something newer. But uh, I wasn't going to pay close to retail. I can just keep looking on Facebook and wait for a deal. Okay, let's let's start on this thing. Maybe bring it bring it down just a tad. I gave him the option. I told him I could fix it for sixty. They wanted to know how much. I said it's probably a carb clean. They said how much? I said sixty. They said no, we don't wanna do it we just want to trade it in and take the the turo so i'm kind of glad they did i can turn this thing around and resell it five sixteenths or eight millimeter on these three. Give myself some room. Looking at the recoil, both paws are in place. Automatic chokey, the linkage looks straight, hasn't been bent. Carburetor looks new. I don't know if he did that, but look, look at all the dust up here. There's not a bit of dust on the, the carburetor body. Somebody's been in here. So they put a new carb on, but did they reuse the same crappy gas what what's this big bend here in the linkage it shouldn't come to a bend like that see that 
that big hook. Uh oh. No wonder he didn't want me to work on it. It's been Mickey Mouse. I'm stealing a linkage off of a another machine that's dead. This is what the end should look like. The Z band, that one there is curled like a, a U. So we're going to put this one on. This is the um, spring side. This is the carb side. So let's let's dig deeper. What do you say? Figure out what in the hell is going on. That explains the cheap plug. It came in a kit. They got the new carb and the plug when they bought a Chinese replacement kit. That's how it works. Generally, they throw a bunch of junk at you for a couple bucks more. I'm surprised the um, filter wasn't included. This is a Briggs filter. You wouldn't get that in an aftermarket kit. They would have a reproduction filter. So this may get interesting here. Seven millimeter on the screws, smaller screws that go into the carb. Okay. Somebody's somebody's messed with this. The linkage just popped out of the carb on its own. See how that's bent down? I don't know why they did that. Maybe they were trying to get some better RPMs out of it. That's that's not the way to do it. Bad, good. Okay, let's let's keep plowing. Definitely an aftermarket carb. It's it's just been on for a short amount of time. All nice and clean. Okay, let's start snooping around. Let's pour this fuel into this tray. The, the fuel's blue. It looks too cyclish. Or is this the stuff you get in the metal can? Because I grilled them on the the fuel, I said, you have two separate containers, and they said, yeah, they had a container for the two cycle for the weed eater, and then they had a container with the straight gas. It's probably not the best tray to use, but it is tinted. Try to get down here and show you. I got compressed air. We'll blast the tank out. Geez, the guy didn't tell me he worked on it. I would have taken 10 bucks off. I would have given 20 instead of 30 if he said he had worked on it. Penalize him. Isn't that how it works? If somebody else has worked on it, you charge him more. Okay, let me get my air gun. I'm not showing you anything right now. OK, 
Okay, that's that's acceptable. See a little bit of water droplets in that fuel. I'm looking at it right now. Okay. Drier than a baby's bottom. I thought maybe we were going to run into something. So where's where's the blockage? Well, that's interesting. This was really loose. Like the the um, O ring was barely touching. Look at the um, the needle. It's facing the wrong way. Remove the um, float, and I'll show you. Did they do this at the factory, or did this guy do it? See the needle? It's upside down. It should go in like that. Never, never had that happen before. So basically, the um, rounded in here was just blocking the fuel from coming in, acting like a stopper. Well, I'll be. Now the other issue is going to be with the jetting. Is this for a smaller engine? I'm looking at the size of the jet, kind of eyeballing it. It looks extremely small. This is probably a 550. So that that may be an issue. It may run crappy. Let me grab my uh, micro bits and just test it. We may have to open this thing up since it's an aftermarket carburetor. Boy, we're we're getting into the the nitty gritty. Let me just pop the cartridge. Okay, I was wondering about that the other end just stayed in there i was thinking did somebody come in here and mess with the cartridge hasn't seen a drop of uh, gasoline so let me get my micro bits Go to the kitchen, get a Mountain Dew or whatever, and let's let's open this up if we have to. So this has got some issues. Linkage was screwed up. Somebody messed with the float. You think it was right before lunch at the Chinese factory, and they just threw it all together upside down. Because why would Harvey, the homeowner, take it a new carb apart? Maybe um, there's a Chinese factory worker that's trying to sabotage the American small engine industry. Okay, let's see what this thing's made of. Yeah, it's, it's not even taking a bite. This thing is really small. I'm afraid to even drill it. I got some secondary cartridges. Let me take out one of these others and just 
change the whole cartridge. I think these are for a bigger engine. I remember buying them for a larger 550 or above. Let's see if this is, yeah, that's kind of loose. That's really loose. Let me compare it to another one. It's about the same. What do you think? Should we try it? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. It might um, flood itself, but we'll, we'll find out. Just for the fun of it, I'm going to take the original one and see if I can drill it on my own. Get it started really tight, really tight. Let's see, did I break it off in there? Or not? It was going and then it stopped. I might have broken the tip off. Let me compare my micro bit with another one. Now they're about the same. Yeah, maybe the tip. I'm comparing it to another one and it is a little shorter. So that one's screwed up. I'll put that one to the side. Let's go with the one right out of the bag. This is, this is crazy. Okay, get rid of the fuel because I don't have to pour any fuel from the bowl into anything because there was none. Okay. B blowing on the intake, moving the float up and down, it's stopping the air. So I think we're in shape, good shape. Dry, never seen a, a drop of anything. Sure hope I don't have to change cartridges. Okay, so let's let's start putting this thing back together. We got to put my new linkage on. from the dead machine. Got the uh, O-ring and keeper are still in place. Okay, push that on, everything's moving. Let me bring you up. This is moving, this is moving. Okay, ready to put it back together. Normally I would clean this up, but for time's sake, I'm just gonna put it all back together. So, no blockage here. I blew compressed air back through this way. So the issue was the needle was upside down.
Okay. I'm gonna manipulate this thing a little bit right there. going on. Okay, where are we at? We're on the tank. Okay. Put the recoil on, put some fresh Wawa non-ethanol in there. If you're from the main line in Philly, you know what I'm talking about, Devon. Radnor Township, Villanova, Bryn Mawr. Okay, recoil time. So I'll pour a little uh, motor oil in this thing since my confidence level just went up. should not give me any issues. Should is the magic, magic phrasing. So let's, let's get it down. We'll fuel it and oil it. How's that? Hopefully we don't need the nitro anymore. Let's grab a little oil from my Honda CRV to put it in the crankcase. Okay, let's, let's get you set up. Oil doesn't look too bad what's in there. The very little that's in there looks pretty pretty good. So that, that should be enough just to give us a start. Okay, fuel. Wawa fuel. So I got to put a blade on this yet. So I'll probably do 150 for this. That's half the tank. Just because it's kind of rough around the edges. Got some bubbling paint there. This thing's seen some use. Paint's missing around the trap door on this side. Tire tread isn't bad. I'd service the um, wheels there. If it starts. Okay. Do or die. 50-50. I think we're doing better than 50%. I say 80. I'm pretty confident in this. I say 80% chance this thing runs.
Okay, we salvaged that one. 2016 Troy built. Started off right away. It just seemed like it had a little bit of a low I.O. I just realized I didn't put the uh, hose clamp up on the carburetor side. So I was under here going to adjust the RPMs. So we're leaking fuel from the um, big old ring on the ball uh, bowl, which was what I was afraid of. So cheap. Cheap, cheap O-ring on the bowl. Normally, if it's a OEM bowl and O-ring, it'll have a little hesitation when you're putting the bowl up into the body. This one just went right in like it was hardly even touching. So it isn't touching, and it's allowing fuel to drip down. So I got some dead carburetors. You could see it weeping right there. So that's too bad. I got to take it all off and put a OEM ring in the bowl. Well, that kind of sucks. They got cheap on the width of the O-ring is what it is. It looked awfully thin. You're killing me over here with this crapola. This Chinese crapola is giving me agita. Here's an OEM Briggs. I'll steal it off of it that but it looks like I already stole stole it off of this one that o-ring goes in that track and you should have some resistance when you're putting it in as you saw me putting that one in it just went right in so the gas is just leaking past it here's another OEM Briggs carb so I must have had another issue with another machine I stole it sometimes the uh, OEM one will um, start to blow up expand too much and you can't even get it in in there I've had to force force them in with the flat screwdriver to get them to seat Anyway, that's what's happening. We got to do the job over, but I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm going to steal steal the O-ring off of this. No, that's the wrong. That's the wrong bit. It would, it would help to reverse it and not go forward with it. Just pry, pry that apart. What do we got? Okay, we got a good one. This is what an OEM one will look like. That burgundy color. The one on this aftermarket was a thin black O-ring. I could just take this whole bowl and replace the whole thing without fishing out the o-ring see i'll show you kind of twisting it and it's grabbing the other one i could spin this whole thing and it wasn't grabbing shit this this one here has got a a bite on it so it's sealing Any who continue to have a nice day, we rectified this one, fixed the screw-ups, but we're not done with the screw-ups. We're going to keep going, but it's going to rectify itself. 
I just want to prevent that gas leak. We don't want gas leaks. Still, still weeping out a little bit. We're, we're going to fix it. Then I'll clean up the deck, service the front end, and uh, take a picture of it. Put it up for sale. 150 after I do the blade, change out the 21 inch bow tie. And add a little bit more oil. Anywho, that's all I got for you. Have a good Tuesday. Keep plowing ahead. We're almost midweek. I want to see you guys fixing junk on four wheels or other various lawn equipment. No slacking. Time to get busy. Get serious. Lawn equipment repairs. Serious endeavors. I can't think of anything more serious than lawn equipment that needs attention. You guys tip your waitress and the wait staff. Don't drink the bl blue fuel. Is it blue or green? I think it's green. Bluish green. We're in Aruba. We're at the beach in Aruba. The waves are crashing against the shore. Okay, enough playing around. I got to get serious. See you guys. Adios, amigos. Sayonara.